The United States uh, Food and Drug Administration has put out an urgent need for blood donors. In doing so, the agency has changed some of its eligibility criteria for donors, allowing for more people to donate. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway uh, spoke to a person who saves lives every day. But, Zach, as I understand it, he's not eligible to donate Tark, that's right. I spoke to an EMT, and although the FDA has relaxed its guidelines, this EMT tells me he is still not able to donate blood. That's Jeremy Johnson's job to save lives, but when he's off the clock, he can't give the gift of life. As a gay man, if you were allowed to, would you donate blood? 100%, I would donate blood. Up until 2015, men who participated in sexual relations with other men were not permitted to donate blood. That year, the FDA relaxed the guidelines to allow men to donate blood as long as it had been 12 months since they last had sex with another man. Now, because of the urgent need for blood during this COVID-19 pandemic, the government has reduced that year-long time frame to three months. As a gay man, do you take offense to these guidelines? I do take some offense to it. Um, yes, I do, because I don't see us as different. Like being out there and seeing the need for the blood and things like that, I don't understand why there are such restrictions. A local infectious disease doctor agrees. We're doing a disservice by not allowing this person to donate. Today, Dr. Mohamed Reza called these guidelines archaic as they were put in place at the start of another pandemic decades ago. At time of the HIV AIDS um, infection, when we did not have very good treatment for that infection, um, at that point in the 1980s, early 80s, it was recommended that men who have sex with other men do not donate blood given the risk of HIV and AIDS. The FDA has also lessened the time frame for female donors who have sex with men who have sex with other men from one year to three months. For those with recent tattoos or piercings, as long as the tattoos are older than three months, you are now eligible to donate blood. The FDA has also relaxed its recommendations on those who have traveled to malaria endemic areas. They can donate blood as long as their trip was more than three months ago. And for those who could have been exposed to mad cow disease in Europe, the government has lifted its deferral altogether. These guidelines are expected to stay in place after the pandemic ends. I also want to mention I reached out to American Red Cross and One Blood. Both organizations say they are pleased with the decision from the FDA. Live in Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.